Hey guys, I'm Ching Wei and welcome to my hair channel called Clueless Kinks. Clueless Kinks with a K on the Clueless, not on the Kinks because Kinks has K on it anyway. But yeah, it was going to be Clueless Curls, but then I realised I don't actually have curls, I have Kinks. So, you know what, if selfie can be spelt with a freaking IE, even though it's singular, why can't Kinks be spelt with a K? It makes it more like onomatopoeic. Anyway, there's like an oversaturation of Afro hair, like here's what we do, here's what we don't do videos on YouTube. And I've... I spent like basically the last week and a half just watching videos and ironically finding myself kind of more uninspired than inspired. Not saying that they're not good, but I've basically been growing my hair for the last like three years, right? And it has not grown enough. And I say I shouldn't compare because I know everyone's different, blah blah, everyone's whatever, whatever. But I watch these natural hair videos and everyone's like, I cut my hair off five years ago and now it's down to my waist. And I'm like, Eh? What kind of hair do you have? Because that is not my hair. So I'm sitting there feeling like one of those salty black girls being like, you've probably got Indian in you. You're probably mixed race anyway, because my hair isn't like that. And it's fine. I know we're all equal. Well, some are more equal than others. <laughs> jokes, jokes. But I thought, let me do my own channel to kind of actually force myself to grow my hair. Because I feel like if I just sit and watch YouTube videos, I'm not going to grow my hair. But now, I'm going to start today, and I'm going to start growing my hair on video and you guys will help me because you're going to give me the tips. So that's why it's kind of clueless because I think a lot of the time people who do these videos are really in clue. But actually a lot of people watching them feel like, ah, like really overwhelmed. And that's how I feel because basically I have natural hair. But I'm straight up full-blooded Nigerian. Not saying that people who aren't full-blooded, whatever, whatever, are inferior because no one is. But what I'm saying is, is my hair does not like resemble a lot of the hair that I've seen on YouTube, right? Because you get the waves and the flows and blah blah. My hair is tough like moss. Like like when Lil Wayne was talking about tough dead Nigerian hair, he was talking about me. Actually like he meant he wouldn't say tough than Chinwe's hair, but no one would get it, so he said Nigerian hair. But genuinely it is my hair. And I essentially spend my entire life now wearing this. I wear it to work, to church, to the gym, to the toilet. To anywhere you can think of, I'm wearing this because I've given up. I can't be asked with my hair anymore, but I feel like those days need to be gone. I need to start doing my hair. So essentially, I've decided to learn as we go, and you guys can learn with me, right? So I want to like have videos and suggest things and test things out and see what actually works because I feel like I need to do something because I'm just leaving my hair to despair. Ah. But um, shh. yeah, anyway. So, basically, my hair literally spends its life in this headband, but if, if I take out the headband, I just don't know what to do. So, here's the, he here's the headband, the headscarf. Here it's gone. I mean, as cool as this headscarf is, it's not very convenient for wearing with anything else that's not plain, because I can't wear my pants anymore, because it clashes with everything. And I've got a million headscarves, but I just want to have my hair out. And then the do-rag, mate. This stuff is like. It's fine, it's fine. It's my savior. I don't know. And then this is this is my hair. My hair lives in these two plaits, basically, because I've given up. I have given up. I know you meant to put water and all these oils in it, but I just don't know. So. This is what I'm working with, guys. I'm a young money millionaire, tougher than Nigerian hair. My criteria compared to your career just isn't fair. I'm a venereal disease, like a menstrual bleed through the pencil and leak on the sheet of the tablet in my mind. Cause I don't write shit, cause I ain't got time. For this is literally three years worth of growth, or four of them. I, I kind of try and tell myself that actually it's only been growing for two years because technically I cut it in 2013. No, the last time I cut my hair was August 2012. And as per usual, big chunks of it are falling out. My hair feels like hay. It breaks like the promises of politicians. And half the time, it feels like solid moss. I mean, right now it's, been, it's stretched out because I've had it in this break, these braids for five days straight. But I just, it's, look, I just don't know what to do. I'm so clueless. Ugh. Within the next two years, I intend to be the pro. And my hair is literally going to be touching my feet. And you're going to witness it. <laughs> Oh.
Thank you. Go away, Isma! What? I'm doing my video, go away! Oh, see what I did there? 